I'm Peter Block at ACC 2019 in New Orleans, and on my left is Ann Goldberg from Wash U in St. Louis. And uh, I guess I could say at the beginning, bempedoic acid, a new compound, interesting one. And what does bempedoic acid do? So bempedoic acid works at a step before HMG-CoA reductase in the cholesterol synthesis pathway. So it works by decreasing cholesterol production in the liver, thus you get an upregulation of LDL cholesterol levels and a decrease in LDL cholesterol. Okay, so is this like a statin? So it is like a statin in that it works in the same pathway, but it is a, a step before the statins. And it is different because it works primarily in the liver and does not seem to have any effect in muscle. Okay, so that's probably a good thing, isn't it? It looks like it would be a yeah. helpful thing. Is it worse in the liver? Do you get more liver enzyme abnormalities than uh, statins or not necessarily? Not necessarily, no. So it's a uh, pemetoic acid, it's a prodrug, and it's converted to an active drug by an enzyme that's primarily present in the liver and not present in skeletal muscle. I see. Okay, so even though we've been talking about sort of basic science here, it's important because this is an important new drug. And tell me about your study, Anne. So this is a study in people who were at high risk. They had either cardiovascular disease, atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, or they could also have heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. And they were randomized to bempedoic acid or placebo in addition to maximally tolerated uh, statins uh, plus uh, or minus another lipid-lowering therapy. So, in fact, this is an addition drug? This is an addition drug. Okay. So what happened with your outcomes? I mean, you're obviously measuring what? So the primary outcome was LDL cholesterol reduction at week 12. The study went on for 52 weeks. And the main, the main effect was that there was a 17% drop in LDL cholesterol in bempedoic gas compared to placebo. Okay, so how does that compare to the statin group? So um, it's not as much as what you see with statins, um, but it is uh, definitely a good reduction, and it's actually a greater reduction than you see when you double a statin dose. Okay, and in fact, if it has fewer peripheral side effects, that would be a plus in favor of acid, wouldn't it? Right, so if it's got fewer peripheral side effects, then it would obviously be something that would be helpful in people who can't take a lot of statin or who need additional LDL lowering in addition to statin. Yeah. Okay, so this is a study that really sort of opens the, the shades on a new era of possibly lowering LDL. Is that a fair statement? I think this is a, another, it's a first-in-class drug. It has a definite possibility to be a very good addition to the armamentarium for lowering LDL. Okay, so I asked you a question before, I'll ask it again. In a statin-naive patient, would you, from what you know now, consider bempedoic acid? Now, obviously, you don't have outcomes data yet. Right. They're not, the outcomes trial has actually been started and is underway, but this is definitely a drug that uh, one would consider to use in a statin intolerant patient. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of statin intolerant patients out there, or at least they say they are. <laughs> if, you, if you really look closely at all the different studies, it looks about 10% yeah. of people can't take any statin. Right, so there really are a significant number that have uh, inability to take a Correct. statin. Correct. Okay, so uh, what's the take home message from your perspective on this uh, study? So this, it looks like a uh, very good possible addition uh, to uh, LDL lowering therapy, um, and it's about a 17% drop in LDL in this in, uh, compared to placebo in this in the group of people studied who are very high risk. So it looks like it's going to be uh, possibly a very nice, a very useful drug. Not FDA approved yet. It is not FDA approved. Um, actually, an uh, application has been submitted to the FDA. Okay, so. For those of you out there who take care of patients with high cholesterol, particularly statin intolerant patients, keep your eye on bempedoic acid. My guess is, and Ann's guess is, it's going to be a drug that we probably will use. Thanks, Ann. Thank you.